Okay, so we've got someone who's interested in speaking with you and they have the potential to become a client. So now what? Should you throw a bunch of products and services at them and just let them choose what they want? Absolutely not. Let's not overwhelm them, right? We'll have to ease them into it. And remember, part of the reason why they are choosing to work with a rep is because you're able to filter out the products and services that are best for them. They can easily select what they want from a brochure, right? That's why they have you. So that's what this intro call is for. It's literally an introduction to you and the prospect. It's a chance for you to get to know each other better. Now, before we dive into the mechanics of an intro call, let's set the expectations of this call. Think of this call like a first date. You can't just skip right to marriage. You have to get to know someone first. The intro call should typically only take about 15 to 20 minutes. Your objective in this call is to get to know the prospect a little bit more, understand their financial goals, wants, and needs and for them to get to know you a bit more, right? The services that you offer and how the sales process will look. This is also an opportunity for them to trust you a little bit more. In this call, we're doing very little selling. In fact, if you're doing this call correctly, it shouldn't feel like you're selling the prospect at all. You're probably not really gonna even be talking about products. It should feel like you're just getting to know them and they're getting to know you. 